Okay, everyone, let's go ahead and get started. It is Sunday, 18th of June. Saturn has officially gone retrograde. We are at the morning after here. First for the announcement, those of you that are waiting for personal readings, they are coming out. We wanted to bring the, let the energy clear here first with Saturn so that we can know what you all are actually in, what you have stepped into. Let's go ahead and get started with the overall energy for today. Make sure we're still recording. Sunday, 18th of June. Saturn now officially retrograde. Flexible. Truth be told. Building blocks. Deep knowing. Exchanging gifts. We've had that come up a lot. I uh, the uh, in the um community tab, the nine muses most definitely um came up for me this morning. So a message regarding that. So we have exchanging gifts. Remember the, the operative word here is exchanging, you know. So that is very significant. That is very important. We have flexible. With truth be told. I don't, this flexible came up last week. Well, it's come up before that, but when it started coming up um, last few days before the week ended, I, I kind of, the message that I got from it that specific time. Now, each time we have a spread, uh, these energies, whatever I'm picking up on, could be different. But I don't like this flexible. And that's why this truth is going to be told. And that's why you're going to put things on a trajectory that takes it out of this um, flexibility. Even though the flexibility was working for you, it does and it doesn't. You're going to exclude all of this and, and look here and put things on a different trajectory so that it can be a be layered onto a foundation that is already here and it can have a little bit more substance as opposed to this flexibility keeping things kind of up in the air and keeping things kind of under that energy of not knowing insecurity or a lack of stability or a lack of security around it although this you have this flexibility that works for you but at some point it has to b become a part of what you're building from it has to become grounded and you need that security and safety net for it to happen as opposed to you having the flexibility and the positive that that brings is like and it just keeps something going for you positively but differently than then if it just laid down and you could just start doing whatever you're going to do with it okay deep knowing is here you have exchange and gifts so whoever this is regarding two people three people ten people everybody knows this would be of your soul tribe so everybody could be quite energetically connected they kind of knew what was coming like that okay this could be them being flexible you being flexible also you all would be being flexible in this but it's like now it's like the buck stops here but everybody kind of knows that um they could see uh, where they could see past it i started talking about this truth be told and i used um who did I use? I don't know who I used. Was it Gemini and Virgo or Sagittarius and Gemini? Virgo and Gemini or Sagittarius. I don't know. The analogy that I use with truth be told about Sagittarius being able to see the big picture. The big picture be would be without this window. Being able to see everything. Being above and seeing the big picture. And how Virgo is focused on the details and can't see the forest for the trees. Sagittarius sees the forest and excludes the trees. Sees everything. That's good sometimes, but this specific time, especially with this person, everybody is going to start looking in here or everybody has started looking in here. That's what it's changing gifts. Everybody's energy could be now in some type of alignment or is coming into an alignment 
so that um, whatever needs to be settled could be settled, could settle down like a land as opposed to being flipped like, like that. Okay, and everybody being that way, but it's like not, now it needs to land, okay, on this building blocks here. So everybody could be in that type of alignment and, and focus on and seeing exactly what they need to see with the exclusion of, of all else is what I'm getting. Even though this truth be told energy, everybody that's a part of this, two people, 10 people, eight people, 20, it doesn't matter, is they, their truth be told and what they see in the window is different and unique to them like that. It's not everybody seeing it the same. Uh-uh. It's different and unique to them. And that's the way it needs to be. Like that. And it, it, it serves that purpose. Which serves a unified purpose. Is how it is here. Everybody had to get there. You know. Is however they had to get there. And remember. Um, so this is what is going to start unfolding. And remember we do have the. We kept having a higher power. That came up the last. Three or four days. I'm not sure. Exchanging gifts. We have leg up. See, you have this flexibility. You have that because all of you are very favored. Ten of you, you're very favored. So you have that. That can last forever. That flexibility. Okay. So it's in the exchanging gifts. And this changing gifts, and now even with when this settles, that like lands settles, okay, becomes structured as opposed to flexible. It's like when it lands, everybody with exchanging gifts seeing it differently through their scope of vision, how they need to see it, which would be new, unique to them. I don't know what kind of leg up it would bring them. I don't know what type of leg up it was bringing them doing the flexibility or you, but it would have been different for all of you. I don't know what exchanging gifts you all were doing, what gift you were to them, what gift they were you uh, to you above and beyond this flexibility because it's unique to the individual. It is different for all of you, what you were bringing to the table, what you're taking from it. But it's quite positive and high vibrational. Everybody has this deep knowing of whatever. Truth be told, the tribe, yeah, they're your soul tribe. They're a part of your high vibrational soul tribe. You have a leg up, flexible. The tribe, truth be told, building blocks, deep knowing, exchanging gas. But let me tell you about this for a minute. And it could be because I have a lot of places in Capricorn. But, okay. Some, okay, uh, this, let's look at this flexible part. Even though this is coming to an end now. And what I don't like about this specifically, flexible can come out tomorrow, next week, and I can love it. But it's here. Sometimes, and it's a leg up in the tribe. Okay. Sometimes this flexible can get you in knee deep or expand something that, uh, well, it could, well, it, okay. It could have helped perpetuate something that could be. Because remember what Saturn is always a lesson. It could help perpetuate something. It could have helped perpetuate something getting out of control. Now, but the counseling it out. Because remember with Saturn, you're going to experience that lower octave. And then you experience the higher octave. It has to counsel itself out. Everything is about learning lessons. Now, this counseling it out, how it stops and ends, you still have the flexibility regarding what's Look at what this truth be told, how things shift with the truth be told, and how things become grounded, settled, and secure, as opposed to up in the air, with the, how the flexibility is used again, the ultimate time, but how it settles things and ground things and cements things and makes things a little bit more secure, like that. 
Experiencing the flexible now in the higher octave of security, stability, it being grounded, it having a um, structure around it, and it being useful or utilized differently, as opposed to up in the air, yeah, giving that leg up like that. Now, I'm talking about wider things. Now, also, what I'm noticing that with the leg up and the tribe, this is a completely different message. You have two younger cub lights leg up so this could be a parent or ancestor or the energetic vibration around you hell it could be saturn it could be jupiter like that it could be both of those and then you have a tribe the little one and you all soul tribe all of you act as this for someone or someone else like, the, okay, this is what I'm getting. I'm talking to the 10 of you. All of you are this bear and you're this cub. Okay. Differently in different instances and circumstances uh, regarding whatever it is you're dealing with completely. Like that. The people that you're dealing with, they don't have to know one another, but that's the energetic vibrations you all carry. If something is happening... In your life in this area, in your life and in your life in that area, and in your life in that area, and you're the that flexible energy is you being the bear and the giraffe, the adult one, and then you being the bear and the the cub, the bear cub, and the baby giraffe in other areas. Like that, it's like that's how soul tribe works. You're with a high vibration of soul tribe. All you don't have to know one another, but in your life around you, in your environment, with your soul community, with your soul tribe, that's how it is. All of you are exalted. And I stated when Saturn told me that it was 10 of you, I was surprised. And I felt that I wasn't part of the 10. I was the messenger for the 10. That could still be the case. And I felt that you all don't know who one another are. But, and I also stated that um, all of you, 10, you have your own tribe. Okay, so this could be about your own tribal people that you're around. And this is how it works. It is not spoken. It's unspoken. But that's how it's functioning for them and for you. You just may not know what's going on with them. They may not go know what's going on with you with the grand scheme of things and regarding different things. Exchanging guests. A lot of the communication can be happening in the um, higher planes where it doesn't have to be verbal. A lot of the agreements are happening in the exalted states of consciousness in the higher planes. Also, a lot of communication. Now, that's why you have deep norm beside exchanging guests. So let's move on. Show me building blocks. I don't know what Saturn is trying to structure. Co-create, exactly. Deep knowing. We come to the edge. So whatever this is, is, is bought you and we have imagined the creation, whatever is being created, being created. Okay. Whatever it is, is bought you, um, this come to the edge and deep knowing it, it pushes you in the, um, etheric. Energetically. Regarding past lives. And whatever breakthroughs there are happening at whatever consciousness we're speaking of in order to create this and bring it into this 3d plane like that was Saturn's present and future so it is doing that for everybody all of you differently regarding different things is about the energy itself now okay and we have TikTok. we've had this a lot with Saturn ruling time Remember, for us, we don't ask about time and time dates or limits and stuff, but Saturn rules time, and this is about time. Because we have where really Saturn retrograde, so that's about time. Okay, retrogrades are about time. Mercury retrograde is about time. You're going back in time. Saturn rules the past. Past lives are time, like that. States of consciousness are states of time, like that. Um, states of consciousness are, are, are spaces in time, okay, you know is if you mention your past life or your childhood you're talking about time like that 
at an energetic level that is not on man's clock, one o'clock, clear clock, but it's in the energetic planes, which is time, like that. So this is, and this is about time consciousness and how energies are transmuted and bought into the third dimensional state of consciousness. Because we're talking about jumping timelines, time. We're talking about um, transmuting time. When you're transmuting any healing or wounding, you're transmuting time. Like that is states of consciousness, third dimensional, fourth dimensional, fifth dimensional, sixth dimensional, seventh, eighth, ninth, time. Like that, that all this time. It would be consciousness itself is time. Matter itself is time. Time very much exists. Like that matter is just time. Matter is time. So is this here is, and that should be obvious. If you're spiritual, you will know the nature of time and understand time and jumping timelines, parallel universes, multiverses, space and time, retrogrades, past life is time, like that. And we're transmuting energy and bringing it into the third dimension of the conscious. You can only you can only recycle like that and experience at the higher out of what you've already experienced as a soul, because you're a soul that has completed all of your incarnations, like that. So you're taking time and transmuting it. To bring it to a third dimensional state of consciousness at a certain degree of octave, like that. That's how time works. Spirituality is also very scientific. Now, so with time, whatever this is, flexible time, okay. Truth be told, me telling it now. And this deep knowing and this coming to the edge and exchanging gifts, the imagination, the spiritual aspect of it. The vision is the imagination, past life vision of something you've experienced. At a mundane level, or extreme level, romantic, non romantic But it's about octave and bringing it into the third dimensional state of consciousness, which is present, is future, which is also time. It's places in time, jumping time lines, transmuting time, things like that. In order to exist, that's what is that's what hap that's why we are existing quotation marks. Okay, because we're transmuting time. Okay, we're just energy. So it's like, okay, let's see. We're soul, so we're just energy. We work with time. It would be like some of you need to come in and get some sessions with me where I can teach you about what spirituality really is. So is this imagination is just vision. When it comes up from your subconscious, it's past life experience to a certain octave, you envision it at the high octave. The, the, the state of the octave, time, that you can align yourself with it and bring in the third dimensional state of consciousness depends on the type of work you've done with your healing, soul growth, evolution. The consciousness, past life consciousness, which is time period, time, that it was bought into the 3D for you to work on it. Saturn holds your soul contract, so it decides that, like that. So this here is right on time, so it's time to shift time here with flexible, and you're bringing this into the, um, the 3D differently with co-creating building blocks, and it's going to land and be grounded and secure here in this time in 3D. And it associates with the imagined vision, higher octave, the outer that you could reach, come to the edge, deep knowing, whatever that push through was, like that, regarding past lives or whatever last life coming to the subconscious to be transmuted and released without whatever happened before in a different space and time, and you're able to settle it, ground it into the building blocks, and use it as a security, a foundation of what you're building now in this present moment in time, like that. And it's exchanging gifts, and everybody that's a part of your soul tribe is, happy, is happening with them differently than it is with you. That's TikTok. Regeneration, one of my favorite cards. Regeneration is about whenever um, you're dealing with time, which is you're always dealing with it, it would be, or you wouldn't be existing. Okay, so, okay, as energy. Whenever you're dealing with transmutation of space and time, okay, it would be, which is always, it would be where you're going to have to go through really regeneration physically, mentally, emotionally in order to exist in that space and time. Also, because subconsciously you visited different spaces in time. TikTok means a clock. It will mean it means a clock itself, not speed. It's just a clock. Sometimes it can mean speed. It means time, speed, the parallel universes, metaverses. We're in Saturn retrograde, so it could be retrograde going back in time like that. Um, so anytime the body has to catch up because your soul energy having a human experience. 
So it's like, for, for example, if you travel back in time, which is when Mercury is retrograde, you're traveling back in time, you can associate it to the 3D. It depends on your scope of understanding with, with spirituality. Like that, or we do, do, could, or, or if you have a high scope of understanding of spirituality, you know that you could be um, visiting a multitude of states of consciousness, space and time simultaneously. Like that, you don't have to be aware of them all the way you're aware of your 3D consciousness, like that, because they're, they're pulled from multiple lifetimes. People jump timelines and, and visit what they call a future, which is an imagine, imagine which is an, a, vi a vision of a future which is no future because everything is the present is future so you have to be regenerated emotionally mentally spiritually energetically like that so that the body could continue to exist as an energy the soul is with the in human form to um accommodate these spaces and time that you visit it when things come up from the subconscious they're coming from a different dimension plane that's what the dimension is your subconscious Okay, so so it comes from a different space and time. So, and then it's coming into the 3D in some type of aspect that I'm not sure of, and I don't know. There's a lot go that goes on with spirituality. So this is you being in, in alignment, mind, body, spirit, with what is happening now in a space and time that is regarding this flexible this leg up this whatever and regarding this exchange of gifts in the vision which is the imagination the vision is the like the what people call future which would be your present like that let me tell you something how souls don't associate themselves with a past space and time that they are attached to or remember very well because with Saturn's future being present there's nothing behind you and nothing in front of you you're just mighty I am presence the only significance that the past has because Saturn rules the past and it's the gateway to the future it holds the gate to the future rules of liberation the only thing with time and past that's why we don't specifically talk about childhood wounded out those are people that are in different states of consciousness that could be a lower state it would be where you would the, the past all incarnations are pulled from in order to create your state of being in existence is transmuted it come from the subconscious from a multitude of spaces in time mean a multitude of incarnations and that's how you're maintained into existence so the past isn't as important to us only as only to the extent of what comes up through the subconscious from a space and time to pass to be transmuted into imagination, vision, what people call their future, and whatever higher octave that work that has been done regarding the past is going to be going to be um, associated itself with as it relates to what we will be experiencing as our future, which is present. We're not associated to any past or any past life trauma. Because their incarnations are done. We're just taking from it and dealing with it as it comes up. From different spaces in time and brought into this state of consciousness. Which present is future and we don't even know what this state of consciousness is. But Saturn rules a 3D um, state of consciousness where we could touch, taste, eat, like that. Um, where certain types of experiences play out. But people that are at higher states of consciousness don't dwell there 24 hours a day. Even though our 24 on a 3D clock is 24, but in to calculate it in time, energetic, um, etheric, the time would be quite different. In the body, physical body, emotional body, mental body, it associates itself with those times and space. Like that. Just like you went in back in time. Just like when you're having a vision, which is a higher octave of experience that you've had in a space and time consciousness, 
you usually have it when you're under energetic vibration or you usually have it that, that you could or could not be aware of or you used to have it in a dream. Your body, physical body, is corresponding, mental body, emotional body, corresponding to that space and time. You're just not aware of it. It has to adjust itself to be in that plane of vision. A dream state also. Each time, state of consciousness has a body, physical element that goes with it. A mental state that goes with it, an emotional state with it. Some states of time, consciousness, don't have an emotional state or a mental state or a physical body necessary. But it, whatever corresponds to you being in that space and time, the body adjusts itself to it without you being aware of it. But if you're a high vibrational being, or exalted or elevated being, whatever you want to call it, you'll be aware of it and you will know this. Okay. That's what we have there. Now let's move on because this can become a class. And I don't work for free. Let's move on. Show me. Even though your dream isn't possible right now, could you give it the chance to come true in the future? Dare to dream a little bigger. Dare to ask for a little more. Not because everything should be bigger, but for you to see where your limits are. So energy is being gathered here around something regarding something so that dream can be bigger or energy has been gathered around it. So, no, because you had the building blocks. You don't know where you're headed, but you're damn enjoying the whatever it is. Okay, like that. But the universe has its own destination for you, and you have your own destination. And your destination is correct, because you're going to enjoy that. And the universe's destination is correct. You're, that's what co-creating means. Both of your visions for you, as a soul, having experiences, is going to be experienced. And incorporated with one another. That's co-creation. We attract what we are. Therefore, dreaming is a journey within. That's the imagination. What inner beliefs are still restricting you, putting you down, and making you excuses that hold you back from your dreams? Now this, what we, what this right here, the journey within, that's your, your subconscious. That's your past lives, different space and time. It comes through the conscious. So what is being taken from past lives simultaneously, like that, you don't have to say, well, let me sit down and talk about what it was. Well, it could happen. Okay, that would be for lower energetic people, souls. Is a so it's pulled from a past life. It comes to this to the consciousness like that. Whatever it is that held you back, whatever. Hell, this could have happened in 1790. Hell, you don't know that. Okay, it's like, okay, if you're associating everything, associating everything with the 3D and what you remember, it will be everything with the 3D. So you are a new soul like that or a soul that isn't awakened. Now, the things that we associate with the conscious that we're in, we associate it with for a reason. Sada could be pulling something from that conscious that has been worked on and healed already and is about to be stabilized in the presence, which is future now, and you're gonna experience in a higher octave. Like that. That's what um how something is gonna go back to 2018. I got the message I put in the community tab. Okay, like that with Saturn being retrograde. Now, so that's what's coming, because it's been clear. Whatever it was that put you out, okay, the only okay, now. So it's a part of that dreaming bigger and whatever, whatever, whatever. It goes with that imagination vision. So it's going to be applied, grounded to that building blocks. And it's going to be experienced as future, which is present, which is what makes you, makes you into being and it's in the existence of experiencing like that. Okay. Now, trust is to be able to trust what you cannot see yet with your eyes. Use your imagination, create your dreams in your mind, and it will be clear for you to see. Okay. Like that. I feel that the 10 of you will understand this. Show me practical matters. There is no spirituality without time. There is no time without spirituality. Understanding nature of being. And it should come to you naturally if you can do it for the energy. You have a higher understanding of the workings of the universe. The fool, freedom, liberation, ten of swords, getting up. Something has ended. Each store represents a point of growth. 
the fool is the major arcana. Show me three for this ten of swords. Four of pentacles. Five of pentacles. Judgment, resurrection, major arcana, and the fool. Four pentacles. I feel that that's the sun and Capricorn. We have judgment here. And the food, major arcanas. That's when life is happening to you. That's the universe itself or the major arcanas. Knight of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. A Queen of Swords. Will of Fortune, Destiny and Fate, Change, Hermit, somebody's in seclusion, Death, Chariot. Ace of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Somebody needs to watch their health with the hermit and the death. Somebody, uh, on, a, on another note, there's significant change that is being dealt with here. With this hermit, this chariot and death. That would be in the will of fortune. There's a destined and faded element, obviously, regarding some type of ending. This is the getting up and beginning. Or something ends in order for something to begin. Obviously. You all could fit, uh, re, um, receive the message regarding this with the Knight of Wands. The message will come from afar. Knight of Wands says it tears a distance. But it doesn't have to be a human. It could be a messenger guide here. Knight of Wands messenger guide delivers a message. It's gone. At a mundane level, this is some type of something coming towards you. Ace of Pentacles with the eight. Something being offered to you, something coming towards you. Somebody is wanting you to pick up the pieces and transform something, and you have to decide what you think about that. Somebody, some of you could be called to be like to to um, take charge of something, or get a raise or a promotion with the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Your back is turned so you don't see this coming. This wouldn't be something you asked for. This is a gift from the universe. You're wanted for something. You're needed for something. And the reason is hidden from you, but the offer is going to be made to you. Is to clean up something, to clear something, to create something, to manifest something, to change something, to shift something. You have the Six of Pentacles here, the Ace of Swords, and the Four of Wands.
something is wanted of you. This is the Six of Pentacles being of service, the Ace of Swords. This is official communication about it, a clear communication. Somebody's wanting to unblock something. Something was blocked. Somebody is wanting to unblock it. It could be the person that blocked it wants to unblock it. Or the person in a position to unblock it wants to unblock it. Let's move on and look at um, love or romance. The Eight of Wands. The Queen of Swords. Communication here. This is telepathic communication. Queen of Swords, Eight of Wands. The Royal Card. Jim and I leave our queers. Two of Pentacles. Somebody could be trying to get someone's attention. Maybe want to talk to somebody, want to talk to someone or feels that someone has turned away from them and now they want to get the person's attention. Justice. Eight of Pentacles. See? And then we had to start with the major arcana. The Knight of Cups. So this is what's happening. Some of you romantic, there, there could be a third party situation here. It doesn't have to be a romantic third party. There could just be a third party influence here. Where somebody is... Not wanting someone anymore. It could be a man not wanting someone. But then he has. He knows who he wants. The star. But somebody wants him. That's what would have been happening. Because we had a royal card. Meaning that cycle is already over. That person that wants him feels that he's turning away or putting away or that he's going to leave so they could be doing something. They could have been doing something. Because we have justice as if they're the karmic repercussions are, are being paid or about to be paid or the scales balanced. Somebody may not have wanted a cycle to end. Or they know that a cycle has come to an end. And they, they were trying to stop that or they've been trying to stop it is what I'm getting with this. It could be that they could not want somebody to go back to someone or to talk to someone. This is communication from the love interest and this is the star. Aquarius, like somebody would, it could be Aquarius, Libra, um, 
Eight of Pentacles. Who is Eight of Pentacles? Virgo, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. Okay. So, Sagittarius with Eight of Wands, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. Some of you are dealing with someone. The Queen of Swords could be the mother. The Queen of Swords could be the, the, the ex-partner. The Queen of Swords could be the baby's mother. All that type of stuff. Or she could just be anybody. It could be like the mother or something. Or it could just be anybody's the Queen of Swords. So it would be looking, facing an ending. Looking at an ending. But looking at a man with a woman. She's looking over here. As if this man used to be hers, even if it's a son or a cousin or a nephew or uncle. But she's looking, he's over here. See, she's looking. And there's something about communication. Maybe she knows that. Whatever she had here is over or knows whatever's going on over here. She knows what's going on over here, that something is starting. So something will be over for her or over her connection with someone. Don't look at the sign. It could be of any sign person. So she knows about the communication that somebody has been communicating with someone or it's been communicated to her that somebody is going, leaving, coming. So it changes her connection that she had with the person. So she feels that that person is turning their back on her, even though this is the woman's back turn. Uh -uh. So she, maybe she's been doing something or was doing something. Because this is over. To maybe stop this, stop the person from coming forward, stop the person from communicating, stop the person from moving on. She could be the romantic partner. She could not be the romantic partner. She could have been the ex. She could have been anybody. She could have been of any sign. But that's what was happening. Whoever the man is has been trying to appease her. Like, if he's the son, maybe been saying, ooh, mama, don't worry, uh, uh, whatever. Or, ooh, mama, you jealous and acting like it was funny, like, but uh, she's been doing something. Or if it's an ex, baby mama, but they broke up, she, she probably was causing trouble, but he's been trying to appease her where she won't cause trouble. Or if it's a, somebody that he doesn't want or whatever, he's been trying to appease her so she won't cause trouble like that. Because he's got moving on or going back to somebody that he wants like that and communicating. And she knows the communication is happening. So obviously the, this would be um, not married people. This isn't for you all that are married. Because this is somebody that can't say anything about it like this queen of swords is the mother or is the real ex like they can't do anything about it. there's nothing they could say but they've been doing something but it's over whatever they've been doing let's see show me this queen of swords see is to stop some type of relationship see with the tower to maybe create problems. We got the Queen of Swords, the King of Pentacles. Some of you is a king, uh, so Earth sign man, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Soma, Rising, and a Queen of Swords. It could be any sign. Or it could be any sign, woman, whatever. It could be two women. Or it could be whatever. See, somebody doesn't want somebody to go. They've been doing things at night. Maybe moon magic. This is hidden enemy. Oh, just having secret thoughts about something and not telling the truth about what they really feel about it. Because whoever is the, is the man's decision like that, you got to start again. Okay. Is the, is the man's decision for was maybe trying to stop something. See, trying to end some type of relationship or end some type of something. You got the son. Doesn't want somebody to move on. Okay, it's like that's the eight o'clock. Or want somebody to leave somebody. Okay, with that five of cups and that five of swords, this was already happening. Was wanting somebody to leave somebody, was wanting the person to be confused, was trying to influence something, block something. See, seven of cups.
but maybe on the surface pretending to be okay with it. But that's not how it really feel. Cause I feel that whoever it's about, it would it would affect them. Maybe they were receiving something from the person. It'll affect them in some way. They'll lose something. So it could not be romantic, or it could be. I feel that it's more so that something would be lost. And somebody else will be gaining it. This is the way that they look. Or something will be lost. And. It's a, so something has been happening. With Saturn retrograde. Now obviously it wouldn't be happening. It's, it's with the world card would be. It's over with happening. But whoever it was happening to. They need to realize that that's what was happening. And not try to deny it. Or reject it. Or pretend that it wasn't happening. That's what was happening. Like that. Accept it. Four of Pentacles. So somebody's trying to hold on to somebody. Queen of Pentacles. Somebody's watching someone. Somebody can want somebody to let go of somebody. But the person is holding on to the person. This Queen of Swords could want somebody to let go of someone. See? The Seven of Swords. There's some type of deception. And then the Two of Wands. That has been happening. Right under somebody's noses. Somebody maybe didn't want somebody to reconcile or to get or to move on. Or to work on a relationship or something like that. Didn't want a, a new beginning to be offered or accepted. It's what you have here. Whoever this is, obviously they weren't going to tell the person that. They would hide that part. But they've been doing something. To keep somebody maybe out of balance, to do to they've been interfering with something as much as they can interfere with it. So I feel that it would be someone that they don't have a voice to say anything, so to stop it with their voice, but they could have an influence over somebody. And they were able to do whatever, whatever, whatever. And they've been doing whatever, whatever in secret. Like that. Because they don't want somebody to go here. But now we have, they have justice, like the karmic consequences. Because this is what somebody would have been doing. Saturn and Lesson with the world card is over, it's closed, it's done with. It's completed. That's what I'm getting with this. So let's move on to the um, angel message. We have be assertive that fell on the floor a year from now. Something could be wrapping itself up a year from now. Something that is being started now is, and it goes with those building blocks. It's going uh, it's gonna to be a year from now here. So let's see assertive. Be assertive. Abundance, improving health, somebody could have been affecting somebody's health, forgiveness, somebody could have been affecting somebody's health and they're wanting forgiveness, somebody has been doing something and they're wanting forgiveness, I don't think they're going to admit what they've been doing. Others of you, this is somebody wanting forgiveness. And they need to ask for it because that's what's affecting their health. If, if, if somebody's health is affected, it's because they need to ask for forgiveness or something. And then they'll have a recovery. And then that'll be their success. And they need to communicate clearly and say it like that. Others of you, this is about forgiveness and somebody need to communicate clearly. And this, you're going to have success with something. Okay. You need to be very direct and use your throat chakra and your mouth to be clear about whatever it is you're wanting and you're going to have success in it. And it'll come to its ultimate success a year from now. So it could be something that is built over a period of time and you will be aware of that. It can go with that building blocks, whatever we're talking about. Okay, everyone, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.